Hey everybody, this is Power, coming at you with my latest video for Q-Binding. This video has been requested by some viewers, so I figured uh, that I would spread some of my knowledge of Q-Binding that I've learned over the past years of gaming, um, and give that out to the community. So, uh, first things first, uh, let me explain my structure and how I feel why I Q-Bind the way I do. It looks a little bit sporadic on my screen, I have Q-Binds everywhere, you see you know, right here on the first bar, Shift W goes to F2, which are buttons that you are really hard to hit on your on your keyboard. And then to Shift Mouse up, G, Tilde, all these all these random random cue binds. So, um, uh, yep, like I said, first things first. Let me explain this. The most important thing in this game, for the way the current UI layout is, is to be able to maximize the efficiency of your cue binds. That being said, you want to make sure that you're not putting spammable abilities such as saber strike or, you know, double strike, shadow strike, backstab, anything that you can spam that doesn't have a cooldown. You do not want to put those on your bottom bars. Reason being, uh putting them on your uh your abilities on your bottom bars are the easiest for your eye to catch. You it's easier for you to watch those abilities down there. It's easier for you to um, see them in your peripheral vision. It is more difficult for the abilities on the side to catch with your peripheral vision. Say I pop a two minute cooldown and I need to pop the shield. Say it's just coming off cooldown and I'm about to die, I need that cooldown. But because it's on the side and I don't see that it's up at that very moment, I get a death. So this is a little bit, um, this is the explanation why I put these abilities down on the bars at the bottom. Now going off that, I want to talk a little bit about the positioning of where uh, the abilities are put placed on my bottom bars. I first start with the first bar from left to right. For myself personally, it's not for everyone. My personal preference is these first five keys are five of my mo most important cooldowns. Here in the first four, I have damage cooldowns. I have an expertise adrenal. I have force potency and battle readiness, which are basically just damage buffs and a heal. And then I have my relic. On the fifth one, I have my two minute cooldown nice shield. These are abilities that I'm going to be constantly, constantly needing to check to see if they're up. So this explains the positioning of these. Now, when you see that the cubines that I use, which you do not need to use these cubines, it's it's definitely preference based on you know the size of your hand. Are you good using a shift modifier, or would you rather just use plain ga keys? I personally have to use um, a lot of cubines because I don't use a Razer Naga mouse anymore, or have a mouse or a G15 keyboard. So I have cubines basically the whole left side of my screen. I have shift cubines to the whole left side of my screen. I even use alt cubines. Uh, I use mouse wheel cubines. So let me go into first talking about some possible key combinations that you can use. Alright guys, so here is a layout that I customly made on Microsoft Word to show the keys that you're going to want to cubind within the game. And this goes for any game. Basically, it utilizes the entire left side of the keyboard, utilizing Shift, Control, and Alt as modifiers to double and triple the amount of cubines you have, as well as mouse cubines. See, you have a mouse wheel up in the on the red on the right, and mouse wheel down, green on the right. You have M3, which is your mouse wheel, which you can press down, which is also a cubine. You and then you have mouse four and mouse five buttons on the side depending on the mouse you have. Some people have a Naga, which also works great. You can Q-bind all those, even with Shift, Control, and Alt modifiers for that. So that in increases the amount of Q-bonds you can use. The reason you want to use the left side of the keyboard is because it's inefficient to be sliding your hand from the left to the right of the keyboard. You want to basically have your hand hovering on the blue keys, which are most normally used as your movement keys. Um, you have your red keys, which are normally damaging attacks and spammable abilities. 
you have your green keys which are normally your support or defensive abilities and you have the purple abilities which are generally your less used high, high cooldown abilities such as like a five minute cooldown damage buff or a, a, a large cooldown shield maybe something like guard um, anyways what you're going to want to do is make sure all these keys are cleared on your options within game and then make sure you set them up accordingly to your on your cue bars for your abilities it does not really matter where you have your placement if you like spamming E or if you like spamming Q or if you like spamming X for your spammable ability put your spam put, put any ability you want there I don't really have a certain place where I'm gonna oh well this is where I'm always gonna put my root or this is where I'm, all, I'm gonna put these abilities uh, it sometimes is more efficient if you cluster the abilities together say say I um, say I want to have a builder say I, my class has a builder and and a finisher I would no, most normally use a builder as three and my finisher as four or builder as two and my finisher as three um, clustering these keys together you don't want it clustering the keys together is is important because one it's faster to just hit them if they're right next to each other and uh, two you don't have to be stretching your hand out across the keyboard which is just gonna slow you down and increase the chance that you fat finger something else like a big cooldown that you need so the color combinations are basically there for you know um, giving you the ability to cluster skills certain like skills together which works out um, for the good I think anyways and some other co possible co key combinations here that you can use other than the left side of the keyboard which are my personally my favorite are the mouse wheel up and the mouse wheel down macro or key binds what I do in game specifically on my shadow is my mouse wheel down is my interrupt on targets and mouse wheel up is telekinesis throw it's the fastest button I can possibly hit on the keyboard even faster than any combination I use on my left hand so make sure to use some of your best cue binds if you prefer to use your mouse wheel uh, for that. Well, I also have my big cooldown shield uh, deflection on shift mouse wheel down. Just goes to say that you know the mouse wheel cubines are one of my favorite things so whatever works best for you personally use that combination guys. There's no perfect cubine setup. Yeah sure there are more efficient ways to do it. Some people you know like taking the S key bind off because they don't want to backpedal, but there's classes in the game that actually need to backpedal because of the way mechanics work. So guys, um, there is no perfect way to Q bind, but you know, there is a solid there's a solid key structure that you want to have, and this is it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, let me go back into explaining my keys specifically that I'm using on my shadow for anyone that wants to copy my format for the Jedi Shadow. Alright, so here is my Q bar setup for my Jedi Shadow. I'll start with the left bar, how I use set up my Q binds. I have my spammable abilities here, like I mentioned previously on the left. I have, you know, auto attack, I have project, double strike, and shadow strike. My three and two are comboed clustered together because I spam three and then use two as a finisher and I go straight into R because they're all um, a nice cluster right there. R is my slow time down on my middle bar because it has a cooldown. I have my stun on Q because that's where I normally put my stuns. I have G as my resilient shield. I go shift mouse wheels for my shield, other shields, deflection and kinetic ward. Shift mouse wheel up is, is deflection. Shift mouse wheel down is kinetic ward. I have uh, mouse wheel down is interrupt, mouse wheel up is telekinesis throw on the right Q bar that's because they don't have uh, cooldowns that are very long so I don't need those I have all my basic cooldowns and best cooldowns on the first bar there I have like I mentioned before my damage abilities relic shield resilience like I said stun ricotta med pack uh, slow time I have my taunts there on that first bar because those are huge using I have my kick my snares my break free my force speed. I have, I have everything right here, guys. So um, this is my cubine layout for my shadow, and I hope you enjoyed the guide. Hope it helps you out. Um, you don't have to copy me, please don't. But uh, 
you know, like I said before, I hope this helps. Please follow my stream. Please follow the guild. We're so far pretty successful in what we're doing, and uh, we're going to keep chugging. So we'll see you guys out on the battlefield. Take care.